Greetings, this is Big Brother. I'm here to show you what I got in a haul that was in a box. I paid four bucks for the entire box. Everything you see here was in that box, along with uh, two other things which I've already determined aren't worth anything. Um, most of this stuff is old radio and TV, it seems. Uh, that communications, radio, television. Look for a date on it. Well, you suck. Oh, you're not going to cooperate now. Doing this stuff with one hand sucks. Okay. Yeah, see Foxing. Yeah, see. But you know, they're in a good kid. 1960. Which means the rest of these probably are too. Communications for radio, TV. Radio electric science. There's something completely different. Huh. I don't know. Somebody get charged a dollar for it. Darn it. God darn it. Alright, well. That's pretty old. Radio graphics. Uh, training kit manual. That's pretty cool. Training kit manual. I wonder if these are two different years. I'll have to look. Yeah, one's part two. One's TYY. One's T part two. And there's three by one training kit manual. Looky here. This is what you can expect. So I'll sell all of these. Well, minus that. I'll sell all these together because they probably all go together as a training kit, the vintage training kit for radio TV. I'm not going to tell you what my eBay stores are or the one Etsy shop that I have. I'm not going to tell you what those are. I'm not here to promote my stuff. I'm not here to sell to the public. I'm just here to show off, pretty much. So, yeah. It's a catalog. Neat graphics in it. Washington optical catalog microscopes. Okay, there's that. Well, we went over the Glenfield manual from. You ever get these? The copyrights are always on the back. So. Uh, hmm. All right. Robin is the famous piano duets. Or duets, whatever you want to say it. I can look at this and I can actually read music. I can actually read music. Uh, I thank my mother for that. And I, I do mean thank. That wasn't sarcasm. I mean thank. I can't sit down and play like I can. Or used to. Alright, that's a big one. Here's a... Another music one. Piano duets. We've got uh, uh, published by. Hmm, that's nice. Nope, there it is. Copyright. MCM nineteen. XL, 40, and then the 1, which is a 1. X is a 10, L is a 50. If the small number comes before the big number, then you subtract. So we've got 1941 there. Okay. 
<clears throat> I guess most of y'all just Google it. I actually had to learn that shit. Let's see, what else we got? We got what appears to be a old book, probably from the 40s. This one's kind of neat. Hardback. It's not in great condition. I'll try and wipe off some of these stains. Clean it up a little bit. I mean, I don't clean up stuff much. Let's see what we got here. Copyright. You know, there's a lot of those uh, Roman numbers again. We got uh, 18... 1893. So, there we go. Be careful or you'll be in trouble. <laughs> oh, be careful or you'll be in trouble. Whew. Boy, this thing looks pretty busy. Anyway, operas. Uh, stuff about operas does. Okay, you gotta have the right stuff. I mean, uh, I know I'm. My family's uh, mom's side of the family is all musical, so I've got some musical inclination. Look here, woohoo! My tools. This is uh. Yeah, let's go get us some Mac tools. Look at that, the wooden drivers. Okay, there we go, copyright 1955, I'll throw this out for you guys to look at, all this stuff, I'll look it up, if it's worth selling, which it probably is, since it's Mac tools, it's like Snap-on, um, Yeah, you know, I'll sell it. If it's not worth selling, then I'll keep it for reference because I come across antique tools a lot. So, or not say that 55 is antique, but what we got here? Amateur radio logbook from Radio World. There we go. Anita County Airport Terminal Building, New York. New York. Here's another one. It's your radio log book. Another one. It costs a dollar whenever. Oh, good. It's nothing in it. Well, all right. That's good. I'll try and find a. Uh... Well, so these uh. Stuff for the hams. I do well with ham radios. Ham radio things. It's ridiculous. But the stuff's high price. You sell it on eBay for cheaper than they buy it new. Especially when they're looking to uh, buy old parts to put in with their new stuff and pretty much Frankenstein things. So yeah, I'll probably sell all three of these together. Oh. Automotive service equipment. Let's see. Let's look for a date. Division of Dura. Whew. Oh, that's an old style jack there. It's printed in the U.S. Not seeing any, uh... This is probably the 50s. You can tell just by uh, the car. You know. So. Magazine that sold stuff to auto shops. This is actually pretty nice. I might be able to get uh, 25, 30 bucks out of that. I mean, it's not in great shape in the top, but inside it's beautiful. 
shortcut to piano playing. Really? There is no shortcut. Copyright 1940. Looky there. There's always somebody trying to sell a shortcut to piano playing or guitar playing or whatever, and I'm sure they make gajillions of money. This is a vintage get rich quick scheme. Yeah. All right. Well. Woohoo! Precision test equipment. 1952. Here's the page. Showing the old stuff. Just a insert. Showing how much things are. That's it. That's all this is. And you've got all these cool graphics on the back. Something like this. Ten bucks, you know. Ten, fifteen. Uh, what we got here? Testing 600 Ace. String TV tubes. I'm old enough to remember tubes when I was a boy. Uh, TV that we, uh, had in the in my old house was uh it had a phonograph and it. it's a record player for those who don't know and an am radio because fm just wasn't there um lift the cabinet on that side uh pull the tv out nothing but tubes big old black and white uh, remote controls was not a thing. Remote control was dad hit me in the back of the head and say, go change the channel, boy. So, yeah, that was my dad's remote. Oh, we'll get some condition here. But that's okay. Maybe somebody needs this to complete their testing. I don't know. I'll throw it out there fairly cheap. It's, you know, got it's kind of dirty and stuff. I, Four ninety-five. Ah, the guy here is pretty big and heavy. Uh, replacement products. Valvoline. Okay. So, Berko loose leaf binder. Hmm. I'm gonna. Hydraulic fluids. 1978 Lucum. There, see? U.S. passenger cars, motor oils, motorcycles, outboard. Yeah, I think this might do well. Here's the thing. For interest in multi and multi... Oh, WD-40. Introducing WD-40. Okay. Well. That's a thing. Service bulletin. Okay. Gonna have to do a little more research on that. And, you know, by research, I don't mean just, uh... <laughs> got a head gasket across there. Um... I don't mean just looking the prices up on eBay. I mean doing a little history checking behind the company that made the books or you know, things like that. Um, you can't always find everything on eBay or Amazon or whatever other online source you use. So it's best to, if you got time, which I do, look at stuff. Here is Quartz Technology Manual. It's got some writing in it. That's okay. Oh, let's see what we got here. Hold the darn camera still. I apologize for that. Uh, what we got? 1977. 
There you go. So, let's see, 1977, I was 14. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, well, it's a thing. I'll look through it later. Cool graphics on the front. It's got that 70s vibe on it on the back. The straight lines and futuristic stuff. What we got here? Technical data. Telefunken. Woohoo. Sounds like Night at the Disco. <laughs> okay, what we got here? Somebody's name. Oh no. Okay, I'm not sure what language that is. I'm thinking Dutch, German, something along those lines. I'll Google it. It'll tell me. Okay. Huh. Symbols for voltages. And Kurt Eaton for Spanugan. Farfanugan. Okay, don't mean to. Yeah. I'm not going to apologize for things I do. If I'm not politically correct. Sorry. Kind of. Um. I am what I am. Ugh, 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 ugh. Let's see. Yeah, alright, so, it's probably, I had to guess, electrical tubes, electrical circuits, yeah, capacitors, resistors, uh, in a foreign language, it might be uh, Alabama, I don't know, uh, monitor, not sure what this is. Uh-oh, what we got here? Hmm. Ancient craft masonry. Uh-oh. I'm seeing dollar signs. Mason stuff does well. People often undersell themselves on the bay, on eBay. I see their stuff for masons. There's so many conspiracy nuts out there. And yeah, I said nuts. Uh, that this stuff sells well. Oh my god, 1910. Alright, Robert. Well, what we got here? Well, here's a thing. Okay. Jewels, ornaments. Here's some kind of something. I'll definitely look through this later. This stuff is just interesting to me. And, uh, <clears throat> uh I used to be a mason. So, uh, it was brief. I might tell you that story later. Yeah, okay. Cool, what do we got here? We've got... Hmm, RCA reference book, 1964. It's a little damaged here. That sucks. But it's okay. Oh, we've got a... What is that? Receiving type tubes. 1964 supplement. Alright, so it goes with the book. That's good. It'll stay with the book. Eh. Reference book. Thank you there. You know what this is? Okay. Uh, technical manual. This this stuff's pretty cool. Yeah, it's damaged. So, you know, I ask like, I don't know, five, six bucks on it. Throw in that. This thing is small. I'm looking at it. It's uh, maybe eight inches tall. Very thin, you know, this chip anywhere in the world, well, as long as it doesn't go overseas. This chip anywhere, 
four bucks or less. I mean, <laughs> sell for ten, make five on it. Now, mind you, I got everything that you've seen and are gonna see in a box for four bucks. If I just sell one thing for five bucks, I've made my money back and then so. So, yeah. Well, I'm just going to pull these out. I've already looked at these. These were sitting on top of the box. We've got... Whew, there we go. Bearing data. 1955, 1957. I've already looked at this one. It doesn't have a date on the front. It says 1948. Uh, 1953. And... 1959. This is what drew me to this box. I, like I said, uh, the guys that, uh, and ladies, that are regulars at the auction house, they don't do this kind of stuff. Okay, it's mine. <laughs> uh, you know, I paid four bucks. I was going to get it for a dollar, but uh, Rodney was there, the guy that likes ephemera. He managed to get the automotive technical manuals from me. He was willing to pay 35 bucks for them. I was not willing to pay 40 So, yeah, there's that. Uh, will I lot these together? No. I will sell these individually. Uh, I'm going to sell them for, I don't know, $15, $20 a piece. Uh, always promote things, always run sales, so my sales are 10 to 15 percent, sometimes 20 percent on, uh, holiday stuff, so, there, so they, these would be 10 to 15 bucks each by the time my sales are done, five of them here, if just one of them sells, I've not only made the money back on the entire box, but I've also made money on the entire box. Oh, uh, let's see. We got television servicing. Okay. McGraw Hill. Pretty famous area. If if you know about if you know books, then you know McGraw Hill. Let's see. Nineteen fifty nine. Preface. Functional sections of television receiver. Yep. Tube daddies, yeah, tube daddies. Back when ohm meters. Hmm. This book is in really nice condition. Hardbound, 1950s. Yeah. That's a $20 minimum book, period. Well, who the hell is going to buy a 1950s uh, tube thing? Uh guys that are into electronics service shop guys that repair and it's, yes they still exist out there what we got here hymns with something uh, I don't do well with hymnals 1882 especially when they're that old I, you know uh, nothing has really changed much um Religious items do well on eBay, but I've not had luck with hymnals. I don't know much about hymnals, and I'm not going to really train myself. RCA 2 reference book, 1948. Some little silly little thing here. Oh, there's some more there's diagrams. You know what that shows you, right? Okay. So, continuity probably. Woohoo! And it's not written in, that's good. It's in decent shape. Yeah, see? This is a 10 to $15 right. I don't care what anybody says. I'm really, I'd never pay that much for that. Well, fine, don't go get it somewhere else. Leave me alone. I'm getting cat bombed. Oh, let's see, uh, Best Pocket, Electron and Technicians, this thing looks new, uh, it's got that cheap plastic feel on it, this thing is new in it, 
I'll look for this later. But, uh, you know, engineering, technology books, small. And uh, there's a lot of them out there, I know. Because I've sold these things before. Uh, I'll get five bucks for it, maybe. Sorry, cat's in my way. It's not like she doesn't get any love, attention, food, rubbing, and all that other stuff. So don't say shit about my cat. Or me treating the cat mean. I'm not. She's just in my way of filming right now. Look at this. Motor service magazines for days. That's what all this is. Yep. That's what all these are. Yep. November 1957, October 1957, that's different over there, what's this, this isn't marked, December 1958, alright, so that's what these are, let's look inside, wow, is that not awesome, big cat. Road service plan gets business. Alright, so this is uh, what they would send shop owners. That's that's what the gig is here. This, this stuff's cool. I just, mm, you know, old automotive, old electrical, old. Notice the word old. Well, guess who's old? Me. When I was younger, I didn't appreciate this stuff. I do now, and it's not because I sell it. It's because I get tired of replacing crap <laughs> when you get older. You know, you spend money on something you want it to last. Well, that just doesn't happen. Hmm, this one's missing a cover. This is something I'm going to do. What's this? Motor service, brake front end. It's got the residue when they used to send it to you in the mail. Mm, that's okay. Hunter Publishing. Let's see if I can find a date on this. Mm. Judging, judging from things, it's probably uh, 50s or 60s. Since everything else in the box is too. Something about the Mustang. there huh all right well i see i'm almost at the half hour mark so i'm gonna stop and upload this video um march first is date of uh, the next sale at the basketball auction here say hi sophie um No, kiss yourself. See me out. Anyway, um, that's a gonna be a two day auction. I will be filming there. Uh, hopefully by then I'll have better film equipment. Um, you know if I don't, I don't. You know, I'll just do the best I can. If you have any questions for the auction owners. Or the auctioneer or the auction help put them in the comments below I will ask them these questions for you they've all agreed to sit down and do interviews so if you got any uh, thing you want to ask them let me know in the comments hey thanks for walking watching uh, you might not be watching me but big brother is always watching you bye